Welcome everyone to this new tutorial of ISSL. Uh, so today we're going to play a little bit with uh, CSG. I've been downloading this very nice pet monster Gulpy by user Andreas. Uh, tons of uh, very nice models here, so definitely check it out. And uh, so I'm going to create this uh, cup here with Gulpy in front of it. And of course, as you can see, uh, the back of Gulpy has been cut out in order uh, to make room for uh, the inside of the cup here, and you can also see that uh, by transparency. Right, so uh, let's start right away. I'm going to uh, close ISSL, close this, and uh, I'm going to erase uh, the script, which I made before, and start from scratch. So uh, if you are wondering what I am doing right now, uh, please check out the uh, tutorial about basic usage of ISSL. I'm just creating an empty script, which I will be uh, opening with um, Notepad++. Here I am, and I'm going to launch ISSL on it, which of course is going to complain that the scene is empty in the console. Again, everything is explained in the basic usage tutorial. Okay, uh, one thing I didn't show is that I downloaded gulpy.stl and it's now in the same directory as the Lua script, uh, which will let me actually load the model into the script by simply using the load function. Okay, and I'm going to emit gulpy into the scene and that's it, you get a nice uh, gulpy. Okay, so let's pair right away with uh, CSG. I'm going to create a second version of Gulpy, which is going to be a translation of the first. And so translation takes x, y, z as coordinate. x is a red axis. And I'm just going to translate it by uh, 20 uh, millimeters uh, along the x uh, direction. And of course, I need to emit the second version into the scene. And that's it. You have uh, two Gulpies here. I'm just going to uh, make these two guys a little bit closer like that. All right, so now uh, you can uh, see that, in fact, when you emit two uh, primitives like this, they're actually in uh, union, as you can see here, and uh, as is revealed by uh, transparency. Now, in order to show that, I'm going to change the two emit instruction to actually a single one of the union, and it's exactly the same result. But now we can uh, replace this union by your intersection and you get a nice uh, cyclop uh, gulpy unexpected result but quite fun okay and of course now you can uh, also do a difference between both and here you're going to get the difference between both meshes of course do not try to print that because you have disconnected parts ISSL does not do anything about this uh, but uh, what you can see is that the CSG is very precise and everything is very smooth uh, and of course, this will work the same during slicing. Now, this is not what I wanted to do, so let me go back to my initial situation, which was this. Uh, so now I'm going to create a cylinder, which will be the main body of the cup. So for this, I'm just going to write C1 equals cylinder. Uh, I'm going uh, to uh, pick some dimensions here, which will be 20 millimeters in radius and 15 millimeters height. So I choose 50 millimeter, millimeter in radius because I can see here that the boxed extent of the object is uh, 45 millimeters. Okay, if I only do this, nothing happens because I didn't emit the cylinder, so I'm going to put the cylinder in the scene. Now you can see that the cylinder is not where I want it to be, so I'm going to move it a little bit. For this, I'm going to write C1 equals translate of C1, there's no problem uh, with writing this. And the translation is going to be 20, 45, 0. Of course, I figured out these numbers before. I'm not that good. There you go. We have the cup at the right location. OK, now we're going to create a second cylinder uh, that we will subtract from the first in order to create the inside of the cup. And I'm just going to say C1 equals difference C1, C2. And that's it, but of course, there's no bottom on my cup. In order to fix this, I'm just going to translate the second cylinder a little bit in the Z direction, let's say five millimeters. Um, and that should be it. Let me save this, there you go. Okay, and if we look by transparency, you can see that now there's something at the bottom. 
right, this is almost uh, what we want, but now Gulpi has no back, which is... Uh, sorry, uh, the back of Gulpi is inside the cup, which is uh, not good. So we are going to fix this by subtracting uh, the first cylinder from uh, Gulpi, and we want to do so um, before we uh, take the difference between both cylinders. So I'm going to write here, G equals um, difference between G and my first cylinder. Okay. There's a slight issue here, as you can see, we subtracted uh, the cylinder, but we did so before translating it at the right location. So I will have to do that here, because after that, C1 is modified here. Okay, and now you can see that there's nothing inside. If I remove the cup, you can see that the back of Gulpi is cut out by the cylinder. All right, let's put everything back together. And now we are ready to slice and print Gulpi. In order to slice, I will bring again ISSL parameters. You can pick your favorite parameters and just hit click to slice. That's it. It's going to take about 30 seconds. See you when it's done. I'm back, Gulpi is done slicing, so uh, we can check out the uh, toolpath. Um, get the G-code, which is here, send it to my printer, and print it.